All right, Dennis, see you then. Well, after weeks of speculation today, the federal government now recommending booster shots for Pfizer and Moderna recipients 18 years and older. It would start eight months after you got your last shot. The boosters will be for Pfizer and Moderna recipients as the data shows that those shots tend to lose their effectiveness over time. And officials hope to start this new vaccine rollout in the coming weeks. The question here tonight, is Florida ready to take on this new challenge? Capitol reporter for Saunders tonight following the fast-moving developments from Tallahassee. The CDC and FDA still need to sign off on boosters, but the target start date is September 20. This announcement today was really signaling this is the plan so that we can start those conversations with states, make sure that we have all the pieces in place. Biden officials telling us the tiered initial rollout of shots will ensure Florida's most vulnerable are again prioritized. Nursing homes and seniors up first. One, two, three, poke. Younger groups to follow as each reaches the eight-month mark. We want to make sure that folks can, can have time to prepare and we can really get this done smoothly. But this new vaccine challenge comes on top of the previous. More than 40 percent of Florida's eligible lack first or second shots. The state remains in the middle of the pack for fully vaccinated nationally. This is a man who is allowing the explosion of COVID to occur again. A group of congressional Democrats blame Governor Ron DeSantis for the middling results. They continue to urge more vaccine advocacy to fight this still growing Delta surge. I feel like we're beating our heads against the wall here, trying to get governors to do the right thing. And, and that's why I think we really all have to call on everybody. Come on, folks, save yourself. DeSantis defended his vaccine record while advocating monoclonal therapies Wednesday. You tell me, I mean, how many events I did? I've done over 50 public events. And a little later, he addressed the boosters. The Republicans saying they would be widely available in the state at places already offering shots, but urged Floridians to do their research. They warned a month ago that there potentially could be effects. So I think people are going to have to look at all that. If it is approved EUA, talk to your physician, see what's right for you. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.